Dr. Clare, um, Dr. Sering has worked on improving institutional deliveries um, in Ladakh, but uh, maternal health is uh, still a huge and a very big challenge in India, as we were talking earlier. Um, what are the gaps that you feel that uh, either need to be overcome, filled, or somehow dealt with? Yeah. So, as we were Women healthcare, we're talking. In the healthcare, yeah. As we were discussing that, you know, most of the maternal and newborn deaths, they occur around the delivery. That means 48 hours this way and that way. So, if we want to prevent those preventable deaths, which is both maternal and newborn, then we have to reach those unreachable, whether they are in the far-flung hilly areas, they are in the remote deserts, or where healthcare is not penetrated, um. or who because of certain reasons don't come to the institution. Because institutional delivery is one of the way to prevent those preventable maternal as well as newborn deaths. The, and also, sorry, yeah, can, can, I mean, the, the, can there be a kind of a universality on all this? Because, you know, every different region yes. has have their own thoughts and processes of how to deal with a medical situation. Right. And many times somebody gets ill in, say, Maharashtra, for example. Yeah. Or however, okay. Rajasthan, say, or Bengal. Yes. So, yes. Yes. sir, we will go to the house. And they go back and they, they, because they feel that there's not a universality of the medical help that he can get. Yeah. So, somebody living in Ladakh, as we were talking of, yes. uh, you know, they have their own. Little, limitations. Uh, yeah. And not only limitations, yeah. Yeah. So, right. yeah, how right. can we over, overcome that? Yeah, over there, I think the only thing which can be done is to have some skilled birth attendant who can go to their homes and assist. So, uh, whether it is a nurse at a district hospital or it is an A&M at the PHC who is skilled, not only skilled in doing the delivery, but also in case the birth, uh, the baby doesn't cry or has difficulty in initiation of respiration, is also uh, adept with the art of resuscitating the newborn baby. So, like we need those skilled birth attendants who are not only obstetricians, but also they are neonatologists. And uh, that kind of, you know, a health cadre has been and developed in certain options. countries. Like we have example from yeah, Sri Lanka. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, like in uh, Sri Lanka, though, you know, uh, is not as developed as India, but yeah, Sri Lanka could reduce the maternal mortality and neonatal mortality yeah, long back because, you know, they, um, yeah. they could train their health professionals, right. health right. workers, right. the basic health workers, the nurses, who would cycle around and go to the remote villages mm -hmm. for conducting the delivery. They would carry the, the kit as well as they would uh, carry the, the 